My name's Jennifer Attinger, and I live and work in Vancouver, British Columbia, and I'm a sports artist a lot of people don't me by. love baseball. My dad was a senior men's league baseball so player. That was back in the 1940s. That would have been equivalent to the single A team. And he was a pitcher. And we grew up in a farm house with a lot of land and makeshift baseball t uh, field. The barn was the home run barn. If you get over the barn, it was a home run. If you get on top of the barn, it was second base. First base, you know, in the fields. I love uniforms, I love texture, I like energy, I like the romanticized version we have of players that, who are fragile sometimes and very human. I love the excitement of it and I love the whole idea of baseball. Um, I love the colors and the fun and all the things that go with it. And also just the challenge to try to capture that one moment when a player hits the ball. There is a Mickey Mantle, um, DiMaggio on the front, uh, also uh, Nat LaJoye. There are Smokey Joe Williams from the same lake as Judy Johnson and Josh Gibson. Uh, also Lou Gehrig and um, Clemente, Roberto Clemente. So I have a wide range of, of ball players that are heroes to an awful lot of people. And I love that idea, that uh, the mythology of the hero. I love how it looks simple, but it's not. I love that people can stand up against a pitcher who's throwing at you a 95 miles an hour fastball or any ball at you, and you'll stand there and try to hit it, the player. I'm amazed that people do that. I'm amazed at how instinctive when people play ball, how they know where a ball's gonna go from the stance of a player, from where the pitcher's pitching. It's, it's, like, it's choreographed in such a uh, beautiful way. And I like that people in the stands, they talk about baseball in very specific terms. It's uh, the player and their stats and their ability to do this or not do this. And it becomes a real conversation about uh, society, I think, and how we fit in this whole game of baseball. <laughs>